Welcome back to the Moto Super Series. Where before the break, Michael Bagoiga, the better got a scut by four legs to three. Well, the scut man has been a little bit like the scat man, hasn't he, so far today? 77.01 average, three from seven when it came to the finishing. But going four from ten, the winner of that particular contest. Next up, a man who's won their opening game against a man who's lost their opening game. Mike Warburton, a 4-3 winner against Michael Burgoyne, takes on Leonard Gates, who lost out 4-3 to Andreas Harrison. And if you actually look by way of performance, Warburton had the much better of the first round as well, averaging 88 and a half, 4 from 7 on the doubles. Gates had that golden moment of the 160, but spurned a multitude of matched darts in a cagey contest against the Swede. And now he is firmly looking behind his shoulder instead of ahead towards the but finishing then, line. Leonard to throw first. Yeah, if we look at game the opening on. games, you'd have to say Mike Warburton will fancy his chances in this match. However, if we looked at the head-to-head -head the past two days, it's been pretty straightforward for the man in your picture, Leonard Gates. Two wins One over Mike Warburton. However, it was a surprising defeat for Leonard Gates from leading 3-1. It was just more his mannerisms. He looked nervous. He looked tentative. And I think that realisation of knowing that a win over Andreas Harrison... So he's got to dust himself down. And one thing the Motor Super Series can do is that you're straight back on the board. He does look a little bit more relaxed now. 100. Right, so he will have to play well to beat this man in your picture. Well, it kind of goes a little bit against the grey because Leonard's opening games have tended to yield good results Nine, and good nine. performances. Average 98 and a half against Scott Lafourne win on Monday. And then yesterday... B Max De Jong for two, an eight four and a half average of four from nine of the doubles and a couple of ton plus outs in there. One hundred. Yeah, he was biting his flight, he was looking at his darts throughout Leonard, and he has changed setup. Uh, was it yesterday that happened? So like I said, when them sort of things are on your mind, you know that someone's not hundred percent happy with the game right now. On the back of a disappointing champion of champions, Will Seniors to try and regain his title. However, this would be nice. Game well, we've seen a 160 first, from Leonard Gates, and now a 161, an absolute masterclass of finisher from the American. He leads 1-0. Second leg like is Mike to throw first. Game on. So, Gates, 1-2, the good. Yeah, beautiful 12 data. One. That's what the doctor ordered for Leonard Gates. Like I said, I just sensed, and I'm just looking out and... Scenery just looks a lot more calm, and I was really surprised how, how nervous he got. This he's a proven champion, a proven winner. Yet when I still get on that stage, remember it's just for qualification for Saturday night. But this is a competition where egos are left at the door. Doesn't really matter what you've done before here. I was very impressed with what Devin Peterson said last week, Henry. He said it was an amateur amateur con competition in professional surroundings. He was absolutely blown away. With it. And he can't wait to be back. And me and you chatted yesterday and said if he could have just had day one again, because on day two he started to produce much better darts. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the Devin 60. Peterson story. I, I probably talked to him more than any other dart player since I sort of left because, well, I have my thoughts on the Devin Peterson game. Not that I'd want to listen from me, but he is someone I would love to work with. 137. Well, Gates here is averaging excess of 131. Now, we saw on Monday Andreas Harrison come close to threatening the record average. Well, if he pins 11 data One here, we may be Leonard, looking close 84. towards those territories if he can keep this standard up. 12 data in the first. Double 12 for an 11. But it's back-to-back 12s back for Leonard, Leonard Gates. And it's a double dozen for him. He leads 2-0. So I guess Leonard yeah, to I just love first. those numbers. Game 125 on. average, which equates to a 12 data. And you have to say, just 20 minutes later, half an hour after that really nervy 60. ending conclusion to his match, and barring them darts there, he's looked absolutely sublime so far. Yeah, get those averages down. It's only 118 now. Rubbish. 60. Now he's finding the range again. The numbers will tick up again, past 120 again. Yeah, it's a big part of the modern game now, and I speak with a lot of young players, and it's all set 100. with averages and numbers. 
But right now, the clear situation for Leonard Gates is just win this match and get that four points clear again. But we have this... 80. We have this fascination with stats these days, don't we? Well, it's a modern generation thing. And it's not just darts. It's across all sports. In terms of football, everyone looks at teams through XG metrics now. And you look at tennis, you go through average serve speeds and, and things like that. 139. He's averaging 118.42 here. And if he could pin this into, if he can find a four visit leg, 100. he could have something yeah, in and around 182. the 120 region. Well, he'll take three darts from here. It's always a nice finish, 82. He'll start the ball, which he's so good at from his soft tip days. A dart of tops. 42. Just Mike, smashes that wire, doesn't he? It's going to take something specially from Warby. Second best throughout so far. However, however, double 12 to get back in this match. 129. Leonard He's the require. type of player you 40. give just one opportunity. You could sometimes take it. Kate so close to taking out the 1-4-1, one one, but Kate's not going to make any mistake Leonard on the tops. Gates. He leads 3-0, averaging 112.72. 3 from 5 when it's come to well, the finishing. To this performance Game. from Leonard Gates... Well, it's complete compare and contrast from the first one. As a matter of fact, there's nearly 33 points between his performance levels from the first game to the second. Whoa, Warburton's averaging 95, and he's hardly had a look at it in this game. He's only had a dart at double 12 on the back of a 1 4 1 out. Sixty. Yeah, Warburton felt this is where this sort of went wrong yesterday when he played Leonard Gates. He was in total control, and then a. Unbelievable piece of magic from Leonard Gates in the decider. 11 data. And he's 60. Gone into this match 12 12 and 16 against Warburton. However, good start in this fourth leg. But when he's in a full floor, it's a beautiful action. I say reminiscent. He has that body movement. He's all about rhythm as Leonard Gates and the, that feel of the dart going in. Whereas the classic aimer is Mike Warburton. That is a. Uh, that's a 60. textbook throw. If you're starting the game up and want to know the fundamentals of the throw, you wouldn't be doing anything wrong with this one. It's all about... He's not even aiming, remember. So he's holding that dart and then just going through this phase of throwing. 140. Bop, bop, bop. Well, if Gates takes this out, the 161, he will enter top 10 average territory. To enter it, he needs an average of at least 113.43. 97. Which is held by a number of players. Yeah, you this has been a prolific performance from Gates. It's been golden from Gates. But he's not going to have his golden finish, not at least of this turn. 99. Yes, but what he can now do is 104. leave it pretty. And it has just been scraps on Mike Warp and just a, an attempt at 141. And now an attempt at 104. He shouldn't really stay in the 20s, but he's. Absolutely. One of those players where he does not want to move from that target area. There was open beds he could have went for. 88. But it's been an absolutely Leonard fabulous Gilles, performance from Leonard Gates. Just what he needed. And this for a big whitewash win. And to go four points clear again. Well, Warburton will feel like he's walked into another one. And Gates, Gates is one step closer match. towards qualification. A 4 0 victory against Mike Warburton. The average, 109.31. An incredible performance. And it's still not the highest average of the week. A 4 0 victory for Leonard Gates against Mike Warburton. Warby averaging 91 and only got a dart at a double. That was on the back of a 1 4 1 combo. So Gates, a 4 0 victor. He moves full clear again. Andreas Harrison in action against Max de Jong after this. Thank <laughs> you.